gentlemen, you got your attention in the dressing room with a nice clean fight. Everybody make at all times. Case of a knockout, go to the neutral corner. I tell you to go to the man next to me, pull you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch gloves. Judge. 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 So it's a tombstone engraver versus a Taiwan magazine cover model. The biggest fight of Richard Maximus Abraham's career happens right now in front of his hometown crowd. Abraham in the white gloves, Pinto in the black. This fight's going to be about the boxing of Abraham versus the kicks of Pinto. Pinto's got some very vicious kicks on the outside. Well, Abraham wants to step in and utilize his boxing on the inside. Certainly a lot of nerves going through the body now of Abraham. So much pressure on him to perform with so many friends and family in attendance. Pinto as relaxed as can be. And that's the Muay Thai style. Because they're so experienced, they do a good job of staying very relaxed. But what Abraham has to really do is when he's on that inside, he has to utilize his boxing. And Thai fighters don't really get head-to-head -head boxing styles. But he has a coach uh, that where he's been developing his boxing for a long time, so he's prepared for that boxing range. And don't forget, Richard Abraham is trained in Thailand as well. In fact, he was the first American to fight and win at the new Lumpini Stadium. He even spent, uh, I believe, two weeks in Thailand preparing for this fight. There are those kicks that Joe was talking about from Pinto to the body. Abraham needs to get inside, has to close the distance. And there's a flying knee from Pinto. That's where Pinto is very dangerous. He'll catch your kick and counter right back, whether it's knees or kicks of his own. Pinto and his brother Victor, who also fights in glory, have their own clothing line in Thailand. He's a fashion model. Is a huge celebrity there, but he wants to come to America and make a name for himself. And he can do that with step one with a victory here tonight over Abraham. You can see Pinto really using those kicks. Abraham needs to stay very clear of them, but he landed a good left hook to the body, and then Abra uh, Pinto followed right back with a left kick. A relatively pedestrian round one so far. Considering the bad blood and all the talking done, especially from Pinto leading up to this fight. Just three three-minute rounds. Stop! Wait, is that clean? Back it up! Fight! Ten seconds! Pinto really focusing on those left kicks. He feels that's his way to shut down those hands. Head kick right there at the buzzer, or at the bell rather, and Abraham with some late shots that didn't impress Pinto too much. There's Richard Abraham's wife, Kelly. They have twin baby girls, six children in all. You saw that Pinto says his left kick is better than his right, and his right ain't too shabby. No, he mixed in some good right high kicks. Very good at mixing in levels and different sides. Who did you like in that opening round, Joe? That's a very tough round for me to call, but if you're looking at what did the damage, is very similar. But it looked like Pinto's Stop. kicks right. in back, with spectacular back. scoring back could have given him the edge. Stop. So far, when Abraham does manage to get inside, he hasn't been able to land a big power Stop. shot. Right. And what's a little sneaky move Pinto does is he hits the inside leg of Abraham, which makes it hard for Abraham to set his feet and get power in his punching. So those quick inside left kicks of Pinto. Abraham has to figure out this puzzle that is Antoine Pinto, and he doesn't have a lot of time left to do it. A round and a half here. I liked when Abraham was really looking that left hook to the body, and he did land some good low kicks in the first round. That kick missed, which allowed a little space for Abraham to close the distance, which he does, but again, it ends up in a clinch. But those little knees in the clinch actually add up in damage. You can see the redness on Abraham's ribs. Could be from the that kicks, could be one. from the knees. 
It's looked a lot like a Muay Thai fight so far, and that favors Pinto. It's the kicks are slowing down the output of Abraham. But that's what Abraham needs to do right there. If he's going to eat a kick, keep coming forward. Throw your hands. Counter go, right away. Go. If you're going to get in a clinch, you got to be right away. You clear? Come on. Fight. This crowd waiting to see something. Something they're going to get behind. Something that will get them out of their seats. Abraham downstairs. Attacking the body is good move. Abraham's attacking the body with punches, Pinto Fight. with knees. And then Pinto with a rare punch that connects to the jaw. But the clinch happens because Pinto, that's his way of defending punches. He can stay outside, move and exit, or he closes distance to avoid the boxing. He's not going to stay in the punch range of Abraham, and that just shows his experience. And again, Pinto goes with the clinch and lands a knee, and it's starting to frustrate Abraham. You ready? Abraham saying, let's fight, man. Ten seconds. Is Abraham talking about the ex excessive clinching? <laughs> we showed you Abraham's wife, Kelly. Let's take a look at Pinto's brother. Victor Pinto, who lost his glory debut to Giga Chikatsi, suffered a knockout kick to the kick, followed with the punches. And he's had good success with throwing his own low kicks. So it's the third and final round. Abraham in the white gloves, Pinto in the black. The first round was close. The second round appeared to lean towards Pinto. Total strikes landed, 41 for Pinto, 20 for Abraham. There's the low kicks. He needs to go back to them. Good job, Abraham. But there's that vicious left kick of Pinto that's really hard to get around. Pinto says his plan is to beat Abraham tonight, maybe win one more, perhaps two more, and then get a shot at the welterweight championship. It is a stacked division, Joe. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting fights happening in the welterweight division, but both of these guys add in a great dimension to it. Looked like a left hook there from Pinto. Takes it in his right kick from that left. It looks like Abraham's trying to slip those kicks and come back with punches of his own. And wisely, Pinto to the clinch, lands some knees, and forces our referee to separate them. A minute and a half to go here in round three. Abraham just hasn't found the opening yet. No, he really forgets about those leg kicks, though. I feel there he goes. That was a nice... That, exchange. That seems to be his best shot. He's having a hard time landing his punches. He had his most success with his left hook to the body and his low kick. Pinto does a good job at mixing levels with his kicks. He'll try to attack the body, the arms, and then mix in high kicks. Good way to set up high kick knockouts. Less than a minute to go for Abraham. Flying knee from Pinto, and again to the clinch. He ties up Abraham and throws those knees. Kelly Abraham, you could see the nervousness on her face. She's yelling for her husband to keep going. There's a low kick, and now Abraham trying to get the punches off too. But Pinto has, for the most part, not allowed it to happen. Now good distance control, fighting on the outside, and... and Closing distance with those clinching knees. And that right hand, that may be a knockdown. The referee 
says it's a slip. That is a huge decision. That is a massive decision, Joe. It looked like it knocked him off balance. I'd have to rewatch that, but it was a good shot. He waited a little too long to get aggressive with his punches. He should have been throwing that aggressive style of countering a lot earlier. That punch may have won in the round. Here's the strike statistics. As you can see, Pinto with 30, or rather 61 punches landed compared to just 33 for Richard Abraham. Let's find out who got the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go back to the judge's scorecard. Here now are the totals. Judge Pacillo scores the bout 29-28 Abraham. Judge Morley scores the bout 29-28 Pinto. And Judge D'Amato scores the bout 29-28 for your winner by split decision, Antoine Pinto. There you have it, successful kickboxing debut for Antoine Pinto. The crowd not agreeing with it, but he did do a lot of good damage with those kicks.